about 37 and 23 and 24. It talks about our step. When we acknowledge that we need the wisdom of God, making wise decisions, having an encounter with God, that praise God, we allow Him, praise God, to lead and guide us into all truth. That's what wisdom is all about. Wisdom means that I don't allow myself to lead me because I always fall into a trap that I'm not happy about. So, but if I allow God to lead me through the wisdom, the word that he has given me, that believe me, that is a prominent, powerful end. Glory to God. I believe the word of the Lord said, consider the end or the conclusion of the matter. One thing about God, we've got to understand today that God wants us to be committed to Him and Him alone. Glory to God. Why would you say that, brother? This because in the 40 plus years I've been saved, I found myself, glory to God, allowing God to lead me. Because when I found out, when I first got saved, I was messing up too much. Too much. But when I allow the Word of God, glory to God, to come me and to convince me, my God, great things start happening, glory to God, and powerful things were accomplished because of the spoken word of God that I had heed to, glory to God, and it makes a difference in our lives, we've got to understand today that wisdom is powerful, and wisdom is much needed in the earth today, because we need a strategy to win, and wisdom gives us strategy to win, wow, he gives us insight, glory to God, into what he desires, because we're his children, glory to God, and he don't want us to make a mistake or to bring him to open shame. That's why we need the wisdom of God, the insight of the king. My God. Why? Because we're in the kingdom. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He brought us out of sin and shame. He brought us out of the pit into the palace. Glory to God. And he wants us to win. Glory to God. Jesus died that we may win. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When he was up, God got the hill cavalry, he said, it is finished. And we need to understand today, wisdom is so crucial in our daily living. Even when we wake up in the morning, our prayers should say, not my will, but thy will be done. Then that means, praise God, we don't refute our own mindset, our own will and agenda, and allow God's agenda, his purpose, and his plan Praise God to come in on the scene so that it would be fulfilled. Glory to God. In the earth through a vessel. Glory to God. That have been yielded. Glory to God. Because when we yield to God, He reveals even the secrets of His full oh God. The secrets of Him. So we've got to understand that we need wisdom. We need to embrace wisdom. Glory to God. And wisdom comes with fear. Fear don't mean we're shedding. It means we're cautious. We're careful. Glory to God. Because why? Because we love Him so much. And love goes a long way, praise God. That's why I've learned to walk in wisdom because I love Him so much and I don't want to offend Him. Uh, disconnect my relationship with him. Glory to God. It goes deep. The Bible declares that the deep call is the deep. Glory to God. And we've got to go deep in wisdom, insight. Glory to God. In the spirit of God to perform the works of God. Hallelujah. In the earth for the kingdom of God. And that makes a difference on all of our behalf. We've got to go after God like we've never done before. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord keeps telling me. God to tell him, come after me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, all that cometh after me, I will in no wise cast out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He won't turn me away. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that is important today. Very important. Glory to God. That we go after God. That we commit. My God. Commitment is so old. My God. It's amazing. Some people, for example, well, I'm committed. No, commitment means I don't just go to church. I don't just pay my tithe. But every 
something that God has told me according to his word, then I will, I shall obey. Glory to God. Without delay. How do you know that prophet is because all of the walk I've been with him and talked with him and listened to him and obeyed, I found that it was profitable for my soul. <laughs> because of the experience he allowed me to encounter. Glory to God. And that is so important for all of us, not just me. Glory to God. It's for all of us, the entire praise God. Glory to God. Because God has no respect of persons. And if anybody say that he do, they are lying to stand. God has no respect of person. What do he do for one of his children, he'll do for another. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's important and imperative that we lock in so that we win. Hallelujah. That we tap in, glory to God, to the knowledge of God. Walk in the wisdom of God. Get the understanding. He said above all, get understanding. So we need understanding of what God is saying. Amen. We can read the scriptures and some people say, well, I don't understand. Praise God. I tell them, okay, let's go and glory to God. Back to the word, but let's go back to the spirit. The Holy Ghost, he said, will lead and guide us in all truth. It'll teach us if we want to be taught. It'll lead us if we just yield. My God, we will get the expected end according to Jeremiah 29 and 11. Glory to God. And it's so important that we don't miss it today. Hallelujah. I know for a fact, praise the Lord, in the midst of everything that I've encountered, that I've been through from before birth until today, has been great. Somebody said, how can you say great? You've been through strong rain, pain. Glory to God. Because I love God and I listen to every word he said. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I found out it was profitable for me. Glory to God, in spite of what anybody thought of sin. And I'm just encouraging you today to embrace God's wisdom. Hallelujah. Embrace His word. Hallelujah. Lock in to, ah, my God, His word. Walk in the spirit, but you can't walk in it if you're not full of it. So we need the Holy Ghost. Ah, my God. So that it helps us uh, to be who we need to be, who we should be. Oh my God, so that God gets the glory for our lives and is evident. Oh uh, my God, God always leaves evidence. <laughs> evident that He what He lives, He provides, He leaves, and he, he lives inside, praise God. So that's important and imperative that we walk in wisdom, get insight. Insight is so important today, glory to God, to walk, be wise, wise in your decisions. Glory to God. In your home, in the church, on your job, in school, wherever you may be, ask God. If you're not understanding what's happening, ask God. He'll help you understand. He'll give you insight. And believe me, you'll win every time. You'll win every time. Glory to God. How do you know, Father? Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Wisdom tell me to praise him in the midst of everything I go through. So what? I praise him. Some people say, well, you should cry. No, I should praise him. Because wisdom tell me if I praise him, I'm coming out with my hands up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wisdom say I'm going to listen to the word of God versus listen to the voice of man. Come on. Hallelujah. So therefore, we need to listen more to God and not enough to our flesh or man of this world. They should never dictate our lives to us. God should be able to lead and guide us into all truth. Ah, my God. So that he gets the glory and he gets the honor. Glory to God. When I look back and it's just a testimony, praise God, to show you how good God is and how powerful he is in our lives. If we just submit, submission is so important. Submission brings commitment. Mm, my, 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 my. And that is so important. Commit to the word of God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so I, said, well, I don't know what the Lord is saying. I always tell him, go in the book. It's in the B-I-B-L-E basic instructions before we the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I go a little bit further. Amen. I, they said, well, I said, if you want to know who I am, I'm in the book. 
and the book is in me. So you ain't got to look no further than just look in the B-I-B-L-E and you will definitely find me. What are you saying? I find myself every day asking God, what is it that you designed for me today? What is it that you want me to do today? Ah, my God, because you are my father and I need the leading of my father. I need the sound of my father. I need the voice of my father. Glory to God. It's something when you hear the voice of the Father. Things happen, I believe, change the broken yokes of his throat. Glory to God, because what? Of the anointing. The anointing, the anointed, powerful voice of the Father. It brings results. And I'm excited about that today. I really am. Glory to God in, in the process. Many of us are going, oh my God, I hear you. Many of us are going through processes right now. Maybe not the same thing, but we're going through something right now. Whether in the home, on the job, but God said he got it. He, who Jesus, he got it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just trust him and he will come through for you. Ah, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord, I heard you now. So it's important and imperative that we listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. And be attentive to what he's saying. Don't reject but accept. Accept the word of God. Hallelujah. It's time for us to confess. Speak. I, I find myself every day walking in wisdom. Call those be nots as though they were. I speak it with the authority and the power of God for change. And it happens. Why? Because I'm in the place that God designed and I'm speaking as God speaks. And that's His word. Amen. And I'm standing on His promises because His promises are yea and amen. It's time for us to walk in wisdom, be wise in all of our decisions, whether at home, work, school, wherever we may be. Walk in wisdom, be wise in what we do. Have the wisdom of God, whether than the knowledge of man. Glory, because I believe wisdom comes from God. I believe that with everything I got in me, that wisdom comes from God. And I, I truly do. Thank God for even this opportunity to take glory to God. Hallelujah, glory, even in, in everything that God is showing me and telling me through oh, so much. Being a prophet, praise God, a prophetess, God begin to show you different things in different places and different people. Glory to God, and things start happening. But I want to encourage everyone on this line, praise God today, to walk in divine wisdom. Walk in the word of God to the fullest that he has given. Put your full potential in it. Invest in so that you can pull out. Invest in the word of God so that you can pull not only the power of God into your life, but the promises that God promised you. Glory to God. Some things are look like delayed or some things look denied. God said, no. Hallelujah, glory. It's delayed because I got to get you in that place. Don't mean it's denied, but it's delayed. I just need you to come on a little bit closer. My God, I feel you anointed so that I can release what I promise. And that's what he wants to do today. To release some great things as we embark on his wisdom. Walk be a wise master builder. Oh my God. I always say this when I first got saved in 1977 when I first got saved. I always say, God, I want to be a wise master builder. I want to be wise for the kingdom and operate effective in the kingdom. So it's important that we walk in wisdom. Identify that God may be glorified. And when we do that, then things happen. Yokes are destroyed and burdens are lifted, sickness is healed by the power of an awesome God. Glory to God, because the presence of God is evident and the Word of God is operating effectively. Glory to God in our lives for His glory and for His alone. 
just wanted to encourage you today, drop a few nuggets to hold on. It ain't long as it has been, but trust God. Trust Him. Wisdom means I trust you, God, to lead me. I trust you to guide me. I trust you to speak to me. I trust you. I'm not leaning to my own understanding, but I'm acknowledging you in all of my ways, knowing that you shall direct my path. Hallelujah. And he shall do just that. He shall do just that. He's not the son of man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, he's going to do it. If he spoke it, he's going to make it good. In other words, it's coming to pass. Ah, you keep looking because it's coming. Glory to God for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Because his glory will he not share with another. So we give God praise and glory today for all that he has done and all that he's going to do. Just a few nuggets to share with you today to encourage you to know God has not forgotten you. Glory to God. But he is, oh my God. He has great things in store. Hold on. It won't be as long as it's been before. Trust the Lord. And don't mean to your own understanding. But acknowledge God in every one of your ways. And He shall direct your path. I love all of you with the love of the Lord. I love you. I love you. I love you. And it's from my heart. Not from my lips, but it's through my lips, but it's from my heart. Ah, glory to God, I'm standing with you, I, I'm praying for, for you. Well, you don't know me, I don't need to know you, God knows me, and I'm standing with you to be who God wants you to be in this hour and in this season. Be bold and very courageous. Take your right for faith, no matter what come or go, knowing that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can think of us according to the power that works within you. <laughs> yes, the power that will be in you, why in you. Glory to God. I love you. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for us. And we definitely will be praying for you. We love you. God bless you. Back in the hands of Minister Gwendolyn Hart.